Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo in Parkway RV Center. Got another nice Class A motorhome to review today. I told you we had a lot of Class A's that came in. Today we're going to review a beautiful 2007 Fleetwood Fiesta LX. And guys, get this for those of you looking for one of these. It is a rare bunkhouse model. That's right, guys. A Class A that can sleep eight people. Here it is. Drivability of A, storage capacity of an A, sleeping capacity of a Class C. This 34N measures 35 feet, 7 inches long, a little over 8 foot wide. It has 40,700, 41,000 miles, you might as well say. Um, full body paint, part of the LX package, Alcoa wheels. Good looking motorhome, guys. Front end looks great, built on a Ford F53 chassis. Got 362 horsepower. Ford V10, 6.8 liter. 457 pound feet of torque, 5,000 pound tow capacity. Five speed torque shift transmission, which is Ford's version of an Allison. 5,500 watt Onan gasoline generator, powering everything inside. Both ACs are ice cold. Uh, refrigerator or the freezer is getting cold got some good tires on it leveling jacks I mean guys nice very nice for an 07 model um, looking around guys I don't see any delamination corners aren't beat up generators nice and quiet at least for a 5500 watt generator it's nice and quiet <laughs> got a few little spots in the clear coat on this rear corner and i don't know why maybe wherever they had this thing stored this part was exposed more to the sun it's not faded but you got these little spots in the clear coat which 95 percent of y'all ain't even gonna not even sweat that but because it is 15 year old motorhome but uh I still have to point out the flaws, guys, because these are used RVs. They're not new. But clean as they come as far as for an 07 model. Good price point at 59.9. Uh, both slides have awning toppers. Tires are great. We just drove it about 600 miles back. Windshields look good. Mirrors look good. Backup camera works great. Got some nice headlights. Power patio awning. Power steps work great. Let's look inside. I'll show you a neat motorhome. Perfect for a family. If you don't have that sticker on uh, your RV, you pay too much. Let's look. <laughs> that sounds like a sales gimmick, don't it? <laughs> uh, you know, inside's nice no smoke or pet odors carpet's not bad i mean i would it, it needs a good cleaning but other than that it should be fine i don't think it needs to be replaced um of course that's original carpet seats look good flex steel captain's chairs like most fleetwoods use which are very very comfortable captain's chairs Forty thousand seven hundred and eighty-two miles no warning lights no check engine lights no maintenance required lights none of that stuff um dash air is ice cold backup camera works got a flat screen tv up top it's had a partial led uh conversion and you can see <laughs> old style new style right next to each other <laughs> but uh People do that. That's common on RVs. I don't know why. I don't know why people, when they just change out a few, don't change them all out. But things do. People do things differently, I guess. Uh, got a swivel little chair right here, recliner. You got a sleeper sofa that's going to sleep too. You got a table booth that sleeps a couple. Perfect example of another partial LED conversion on the same light. And you may not be able to tell the difference on the camera. But in person, one's got more of a yellow soft light. The other one's more of a bright white light. They may have done it on purpose. I don't know. 
Um, double 13,500 BTU ducted roof airs. Both are blowing icicles because we're having kind of a warm spell today. It's like 74 degrees. So I actually got both airs on. It feels great. Of course, I do miss that cooler weather. Um, it'll be back for you, you know it. Got a three burner stove top oven. Shows very little use. Microwave, eight cubic foot RV refrigerator freezer that runs off propane or electric. This thing is clean, guys. Look at this refrigerator or freezer. Freezer's already getting cold, guys, enough that I can tell that it works. It'll take it several hours to get to operating temp, but we do guarantee the refrigerator and freezer to get to operating temp. Look how nice that refrigerator is. Wow. Slide out pantry right here. Well, slide out pantry. Just drawers, I guess, what you would say. We got, what, five or six of those? It's a great for canned goods. I'm gonna walk toward the back. You've got your bunk room with two bunks and a, and a ladder to climb the second one. Pretty nice. Let's see here. Does it have a little TVs? Yeah, got the little, little, little small television, so you can, I guess, put you an Xbox or PlayStation or something there. I'm not sure, uh, but they're there. And one on this one too. So, got your little TVs in there. You've got bathroom and a decent sized bathroom too, and it's actually got a tub in it. Now the it has been parked outside some. The tub and shower has bleached yellow from the UV rays coming from the skylight. There's no signs of water damage anywhere, but it doesn't hurt anything, but it just lets you know it's been outside a little bit. Which 15 years old, I guess. That's that's not that's nothing unheard of. Um, but the roof does look good. We looked at it when we bought it, so I know it's fine. Cabinets look good, countertops look good, nothing swollen from leaks or no mildew smells or anything like that. It's got one other little thing besides the outside. And I'm, I'm assuming what happened is sometime over the past 15 years, somebody closed this slide out with a queen bed in it while this closet door was open and smashed it and it's not in here. So it's gonna have that little open closet right there. I'm sorry guys. Um, we could probably put something up, but it's not it's not gonna match what's in there now. That's that's gonna be very, very hard to do. It'd have to go to a cabinet shop to get that done. And I don't know if anybody even that even does that anymore. Everything's big box cabinets now. It's hard to get custom made stuff like that. Um, you might know somebody where you live. Or, you know, you may just Leave it alone like the last owners did and used it without that cabinet door there. So I just don't have anybody that can really build that and make it give it and make it give it justice, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, got a lot of drawer space right here, six drawers, four under there. Got a little closets, of course you can see in this one. Um, plenty of lighting in here. This is a 60 by 80 queen bed. You do have a slide, oh, that's good. I was worried they was gonna put a curtain here, but they actually put a sliding solid door so you can separate the master bedroom from the bunks, which guys, to be honest with you, you're not gonna have much privacy in a motorhome anyway, if you've got other people or kids staying with you, but hey, every little bit helps, and at least you can close that off with a solid door. And uh, of course, you know, if you have eight people in here, privacy doesn't exist. So take that from somebody that's that stayed in an RV before with that many people. It's not. It looks good on paper, but in real life, it's not very practical. Uh, four or five people in any size RV is plenty. Um, but you can sleep eight if you have to. Um, boy, actually, that air is starting to get a little too cold. You know, I got this unit for $59.9. We do guarantee, of course, like all of our used RVs, we guarantee the slide outs to work like they're supposed to, go in and out. We guarantee generator to run and put out like it's supposed to. We guarantee the refrigerator, the freezer, and the air conditioners 
to get to operating temp the roof airs of course dash air is cold um backup camera works lights work just some of them are led some are not which no big deal um so you know if this is something you think you're interested in give us a call 706-965-7929 that price is haggle free firm set in stone non-negotiable whatever you want to call it we call it haggle free firm but it's a uh, 59.9 um we have no fees. We're not like Rip Off World, all these other places that add thousands of dollars in fees on top of the advertised price. We do have financing available with approved credit and down payment with zero dealer interest rate markup, which means we don't mark the interest rates up. You go to Rip Off World, all these other places, they've got your they they've got your interest rate marked up at least one or two percent over what the bank approved you for and you have no idea they're doing that because you're going to the banks they do business with not your own personal one so you may be overpaying by thousands of dollars over the life of an rv loan and higher payments because the dealers mark the rate up and the banks let the dealers keep the majority of that money um, always check with your bank or credit union guys before you rv shop so you have some kind of basis of comparison Keep in mind, you go to the dealership's finance department, they have quite a bit of profit built into that. That's why dealers don't like to sell stuff for cash anymore because when you come in with your own financing or paying cash, they, the dealers, especially these big corporate dealers, are missing out in thousands of dollars in profit that they would be making if somebody financed it instead of paying cash. That's why so many dealers now are shying away from cash sales by telling you always oh, already got a deposit on it or uh, we just found out when they find out you're paying cash they uh what they do is they uh tell you well i just found out one of the other sales piece, people just took a deposit on it i'm sorry because they want to save inventory is so scarce right now they want to save it for finance customers so they can make several thousand more dollars profit you don't have to worry about that here guys it's all the same to us but I do have one request, and, and it's not, you know, and, I, and it's just a request. I'm not going to turn it down if you bring it, but I do ask that you don't bring $100 bills here. Uh, I'll take it if you do bring it, but it's just, I just worry about your safety, and it's, plus my employees have to handle it, count it, take it to the bank. More paperwork involved because we do have to do the 8300 IRS form when we take in $10,000 or more, have to get your Social Security number and all that stuff. So, um, so if you do are going to pay cash, which a lot of our customers do, uh, I, and I, again, guys, if you bring $100 bills, we'll, we'll still take it, no problem. But we do ask, especially if you're traveling from out of state, to bring a cashier's check or do a wire transfer. Um, just safer for you um, and safer for us and a little bit less paperwork involved for us. But again, guys, um, I'll still take cash, but I do prefer that's our preferred form of payment is cashier's check or bank to bank wire transfer. And if you got questions about that, just pick up the phone and call one of our salespeople. Uh, or we take proceeds from a bank, like if you finance this RV through your bank or credit union. And of course, our lenders just wire us the money when we do a finance deal through them. So uh, we do take trade ins. And if you got a trade, um, give us a call. 706-965-7910. We took three trades in today that are all three pretty decent, including a 2021 travel trailer <laughs> that is pretty much only thing's been done to it. The stickers were taken off from the dealer when it was bought new. I mean, it's nice. So definitely got some nice inventory I'll be shooting here in the next few days. Took a truck and the fifth wheel in on trade that I've already sold the truck and uh, I'll have the fifth wheel for sale um i've got oh get this guys i may have a ford dually truck and a lance truck camper coming in and i'll be selling it as a pair together made it together so and it's got generator and double slides and everything now that, that's going to be a cool rig that i haven't had in a long time so stay tuned for that um and it's a seven three power stroke diesel truck too that's even better <laughs> anyway <laughs> um got a lot of neat stuff in guys got a forest river fr3 class a that just came in today i'll try to shoot tomorrow the next day i've got a 
uh, a little four winds on a Sprinter chassis, a B plus uh, or C. I've got, I've got so much cool stuff coming in, guys. Um, it, I'm already here and just going through uh, recon. So stay tuned. If you're not a subscriber, you need to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I've got some really cool stuff. It's all used, all going to save you a ton of money over a new one. And the fact I have them here in stock where others don't makes a big difference too. You can actually buy these things today like this uh, Fiesta right here. It, everything we check and guarantee to work works. It's ready to go. You just come in, pay for it, take it home the same day. Just pay for it in verified funds. Um, I mean, guys, we just, you can't beat our selection of used RVs. A's, C's, I got some B's hopefully coming in. Still got a couple of those left, but not many. Um, I've got travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, crossovers, whatever you want to call them, destination trailers. I've got fifth wheels galore. Um, <laughs> really, really neat stuff, guys. And got more than what's on the website. I'm doing my best to get caught up, but at the end of the day, I'm only one person, and I'm used to having an assistant, which I can't get anymore because of labor shortage. Uh, every time I tried to hire one, they last about two days. And they either don't get it or they don't want to work or come in late or lay off, lay out, you know. When you show up three hours late for your second day, that's not a good sign, especially to me. So, you know, keep that in mind for no with no excuse. But, uh, you know, like I said, guys, I'm looking for an assistant to help me so I can get, at least get pictures of these things on the website. Because I do a lot of other stuff, unfortunately, besides marketing. So, uh, believe me, I wish I could just do marketing. But right now, it's a family. You know, that's the part about working at a family dealership. You wear a lot of different hats. But uh, this 34 end is not going to last long for 59.9 haggle-free firm. We have no extra fees besides applicable sales tax. And uh, if you are a Georgia resident, you do have to pay a $100 highway impact fee. $40 to $50 tag and title fee. That's Georgia residents only. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Feel free to smash me a thumbs up if you're interested in looking at purchasing it. 706-965-7929 uh, is the number to call. If you want to message me, go to my Facebook page, RVs with Big Bo. Like it, and you can send me a message there. I'm not in sales. I do marketing, guys. Unfortunately, I don't have time for sales. Uh, I don't mind answering your questions about RVing or advice or you know about this this or that i mean i've been in this industry for 25 years i've been an rv owner for longer than that i mean guys i bought my first camper at 16 years old i bought an old coleman pop-up that i pretty much redid myself um and used it for a couple of years so i bought a couple of travel trailers and a motor home i mean i uh you know of course, my very first ones were fixer-uppers, to say the least. You know, that's kind of like your first few cars. You know, you always got to work on them. Kind of the same way with me. So I, I learned a lot about RVs from doing that than being around here. I grew up in this business. I've done everything you can think of when it comes to RVs and, and either, you know, I bought them, I've sold them. I've been on both sides of that desk as a buyer and a seller. I've done financing. I've done marketing, transportation of them worked on them that kind of makes me a little bit unique among everybody else reviewing rvs plus on the internet on youtube and plus i do used rvs everybody you know everybody wants to look at a brand new one and see the brand new rvs but here's the thing that here's the thing you can buy the biggest piece of crap in the world when it's brand new it looks great it looks awesome when they're brand new don't matter but I, when you see them when they're several years old like this one that's a true testimony to if it's a good motorhome or not, or a good RV. Like I said, the biggest piece of crap in the world looks like a brand new diamond when it's brand new, but you know, one 15 years old, that's a different story. So that's why I love doing used RVs, guys. And I do occasional new one, but when we can get them, but few and far between. Anyway, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Um, again, questions, feel free to give us a call call before coming to look make sure it's available we have no extra fees 
we save you thousands on fees the price is the price 59.9 there's no haggle room or nothing like that on that it doesn't matter how far away you come from that's the price i'm trying to be cruel but these things are getting harder and harder to get and cost more and more to get and honestly i'm selling a lot of these units for less than i'm going to spend to replace them so um especially with auction prices uh i didn't do the auction this morning dad did didn't buy a single thing 400 units everything brought retail plus even in rough shape and um especially motorhomes and travel trailers so guys like i said it's uh we're very very blessed very fortunate because we go unconventional means to get these units uh we travel a long distance we take many chances that, we, that most of you shouldn't take buying these things in the blinds from people we've never done business with but you know we've gotten we've gotten gypped on a couple but uh but hey at the end of the day it, you know sometimes it's it's a gamble i mean that's what we have to do to get to keep our lots full because the old days of just going to the auction and, and, and getting trade-ins from other dealers are, are gone for for no telling how long so very very lucky to have what we have guys thank y'all so much for watching again i appreciate it uh, appreciate my 31,000 subscribers again hit that subscribe button that bell notification button smash me a thumbs up we have delivery service available contact us for quote up-to-date information on financing give us a call 706-965-7929 we are open monday through friday 9 a.m to 6 p.m eastern time we do test drives only on monday through friday we don't do saturday test drives we are um of course we're going to be closed thanksgiving day maybe close a little early the next day or the day before we don't know yet so if you want to come down wednesday or friday you might want to call just to see how late we're going to stay here um it's been a rough year guys i'm not gonna lie it's been a great year for sales so don't be surprised if, if we close down a little bit longer than most dealerships do for the holidays because my guys deserve it here my employees because everybody's pretty much working six days a week now. Um, so, um, like I said, we, we've already far exceeded the number of units per year that we normally sell. So, I, you know, so it's no big deal for us to close a couple of extra days let everybody have some time off uh, during the holidays. So, keep that in mind. Thank you again for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, and come out and visit with us. You know, another thing we do too for our clothes off, we let you just simply look. You know, that's something you can't hardly do anymore. You go to Rip Off World, all these other places, everything's locked up in a prison yard. You can't get in there. You have to go to a, you have to go to a showroom. Uh, salesperson has to sit there, interrogate you for 10 minutes, get a copy of your driver's license and all this other nonsense, and then get on a golf cart and show you what they want you to look at. It, that's not shopping for rvs guys we just come out and look just the only thing we ask you to do is don't park in the road don't park in the driveway uh but other than that you can park where you want look at what you want if you want to talk to a salesperson call the office or go up front to the office and ask to see one if you don't want to look all you want and if you don't see anything you like or you don't want to talk to anybody just get in your car and leave i mean guys we're not we don't have to chase anybody to sell an rv I mean, these things sell themselves. There's a huge shortage of used RVs. We've got them. We've got over 100. These things sell like crazy. In fact, that Barth I did earlier, I think somebody was leaving a deposit on it when I was walking out here to film this one. So that one may be off the market. I don't know yet until I get back in the office. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, hit that subscribe button. And um, come out and visit with us. Thank you again. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.